Mexican drug baron Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has been captured in Guatemala and sentenced to 20 years in Puente Grande prison in Jalisco, Mexico. On the evening of January 19th, 2001, a guard makes his usual rounds through the corridors of Puente Grande. As he approaches El Chapo's cell, he notices the door is open and the prisoner is gone. Inside the prison, chaos. Inmates and guards are rounded up and interrogated as the police frantically search every cell, room, and closet. In towns near the prison, the Mexican army raid houses, ranches, and government buildings looking for the kingpin. But El Chapo has vanished. Just a few hours earlier, at around 9.45 p.m., Francisco Rivera, a prison administrator, opened the cell and the kingpin jumped into a laundry cart. Passing through several security doors before escaping in a waiting truck. After eight years behind bars, El Chapo is now a free man. Making up for lost time, the drug lord immediately tackles unfinished business. He takes the cartel wars to a whole new level, exacting revenge on an unprecedented scale. Now that he was actually out of jail, crime increased against the Arellano and the Chapo Guzman organization, the Sinaloa Cartel. Killings, they were killing each other. It was, okay, well, you're gonna kill 10 of my people, I'm gonna go and behead 50 of yours, and then I'm gonna pile them up on the outskirts of a town. 